All right, good morning, Tabletop Gamers. This is Appa Brian at Apple Baseball Classics playing Status Pro Baseball with a 1984 tournament. Single elimination, and we're ready for round one. I played a game offline on Saturday. That was the um, Atlanta Braves and the Montreal Expos. Uh, that was 1-2-1 by the Braves, so the Braves will get into the second round. 1984 was the year of the Tigers. They started out 35 and 5, and they started out at 35 and 5, got a big push from the very first Saturday, which was the game of the week broadcast by uh, Ben Scully. Jack Morris was the starting pitcher. It was the Tigers at the White Sox. It was a cold and windy day in the windy, windy city. And Jack Morris, with the help of two outstanding defensive players from the late inning, Defensive replacement Dave Bergman, who leapt for a line drive and also had a diving catch on a ground ball, preserving Jack Morris's no hitters. Jack Morris threw a no hitter. I watched that game on that day. Uh, that made the Tigers, I believe, four and zero. Jack Morris was in the prime of his career, and he propelled them to a memorable season, maybe the best ever, by the post-war Detroit Tigers. Today we got the Twins at the Tigers. Starting lineups are coming right up. Frank Viola will be starting for the Twins as a PB 2 through 7. 18 game winner in 1984 with a 3.2 earned run average. And Jack Morris is on the mound for the Tigers. 3.6 ERA, 19 game winner, and a PB 7, 2 through 7 as well. Both has a starting pitching rating of 17. Batting order for the Minnesota Twins is Mickey Hatcher in left field, Kirby Puckett in center field, Kent Herbeck at first base, Tom Bernanski in right field, Gary Gaetti at third base, Juan Washington is the shortstop, I forgot to write that down, he has an E2B, and Tim Tufel at second base, Randy Bush is the DH, and Tim Laudner is the catcher. For the Detroit Tigers, they're going to lead off with Lou Whitaker at second base, Alan Trammell at shortstop, Kirk Gibson in right field, Chet Lemon in center, Lance Parrish is the catcher, Barbero Garbet is at first base, Rusty Coots the DH, Howard Johnson at third, and Larry Herndon in left field. All right, a little different presentation today. Um, I want you to be able to see the di dice roll, the results on the cards, and the score as we go along. Um, it is different. I like variety. Here we go. Jack Morris to Mickey Hatcher. Let's let him roll. Five is off Morris's card, and 47 will be a wild pitch. There's nobody on base, so that doesn't matter. We will re-roll. Remember the white dice, if it comes up as a zero, that's a BD check and or CD check. If someone's on base or on a second reroll of nine and 10, we'll check the Z chart, unusual events. Six off the Jack Morris card and 21 is a base hit to right field for Mickey Hatcher is not gonna be a no hitter today. Hatcher goes the first, he is not a threat to steal at E. Kirby Puckett. Oops, sorry for hitting the camera. Five off Morris's card and 55 is a right handed normal out. Ground ball to second base. Runner advances. Play made by Lou Whitaker. Hatcher goes to second. Here is Kent Herbeck. The Royals have a rookie this year named Vinny Pascotino. His throw and follow through are exactly like Kent Herbeck's. Hope he's somewhat close to the same player that Herbeck was. All right, five is a 55. That's going to be an out LP. Oh, by the way, that G4A star means check for an arrow, which we forgot to do. There's none. L 
LP is a ground out to third base, G5, no error. Hatcher holds at second. Tom Bernanski. Eight off of Bernanski's card and 44 is going to be a base on balls, first and second for the Twins in the first inning. Bernanski's at first, Hatcher's at second. That will bring up Gary Gaetti. He is a former Royal who hit, I think, 35 or 36 home runs in 1995 to set a Royal record for home runs at the time. Uh, Salvi Perez holds that record now with 48 in a season. Eight is off of Gaetti's card, and 71 are in. We'll close out the inning, ground out the shortstop. That is Alan Trammell, and he makes the play three outs. No runs in the first for Minnesota. Sweet Lou Whitaker leads off for the Tigers, left-handed batter, 289 average in 1984 against Frank Viola, 74 off Sweet Lou's card, LN, is a fly out to left field with no air check, one down. Great, great Detroit Tiger double play combination between Whitaker and Trammell. Here's the short side side of that combination, Alan Trammell, 314 with 14 home runs, 38 is a drive by Alan Trammell. It might be, it could be, it is out of here a home run. Puts the Tigers on the board, one to nothing. Here's Kurt Gibson, 51 off his card will be a base on balls. Fast runner at first base threat to steal. There is one out. Chet Lemon does not have a good hit and run number, so I think um, we'll go with a threat to steal. All right, the catcher has an A arm, and um, the runner has an A rating. So 58 is a runner out. If C has a, if the catcher has a TA or B throwing, if not, he steals second. So Tim Launder has the eighth throwing rating, and he throws out Kirk Gibson trying to steal second base. Score a two to four. Now back to Chet Lemon. There's two outs, and now the bases are clear. Off Lemon's card, 48, is hit by pitch ball. Here's Lance Parrish, a lot of power here, 33 home runs. Viola to the stretch, here's the pitch. And that's off the Tigers cards. That's gonna be an out though, first out in at range. RP is ground out to second base. No error. Tigers are closed out in the bottom of the first inning. Detroit won and Minnesota nothing. Juan well, Washington will lead off for the Minnesota Twins in the top of the second inning. There's a pitch from Jack Morris. Seven off Morris's card and 17 is going to be a leadoff single to center field. Retrieved by Chet Lemon, thrown back into the infield. Washington holds at first. E speed, speed, not a threat to steal. Tim Tufel. Six, 58 is going to be an out. R in. Popped up on the infield. Alan Trammell's under it and makes the catch. One away. Randy Bush. Here's the DH. 9, 25 off of his card is going to be a drive by Randy Bush. It might be, it could be, it is out of here. A two-run shot for the Twins puts them on top. Two to one, drives in one Ron Washington. 
Tim Laudner, the catcher. One down and the base is clear. Ninth hitter in an order. 55 off of Jack Morris's card. Is an out. And Laudner is a RP popped up to the shortstop. Two outs. You cycle back to the top of the order and Mickey Hatcher, who I believe is raised in the state of Kansas. Four uh, off of the Morris card that's a zero. Let's roll and see if that's going to be a Z chart. It's not, there's nobody on base. So no effect. 73 off of Morris's card is an out. RN is a ground ball to Lou Whitaker, no air. Four to three. Twins take the lead in the second, two to one. Barbaro Garbet leads off for the Tigers, seven, 36. Lead off double to left field by Garbet. Here's Rusty Kuntz, uh, formerly coaching, coaching for the Kansas City Royals. He was a very good coach. He worked with the outfielders and was a first baseman. I think he is he's either retired or working with the minor leaguers now. Here's the pitch to Rusty Kuntz. Seven off of, let's get the pitcher card up there. And let's check for an error on that double. There's no error on the double. Seven off Viola's card and 82 will be an out. Our in is a Fielder's choice, ground, ground out to shortstop, that's a G times six. Um, the runner's going to hold it second. No air on the play. One down. Brings up Hojo, Howard Johnson, who really uh, spread his wings with the Mets, but uh, came up with the Tigers. Switch hitting power hitter. Eight is off of uh, Hojo's card. 48 will be a base on balls. Viola is in some difficulty again. Here is first and second with one down and 280 hitter Larry Herndon coming to the plate. Nine off of Herndon's card. 38 is a swing and miss, strike three. I don't know if I'm supposed to draw for an error after strikeouts to make sure the catcher caught the ball, but I don't think so. I've not been doing that. And when I played stress pro when I was young, I didn't do that. All right, top of the order. And Lou Whitaker, two down, two on. There's a pitch to Whitaker, five off Viola's card, 51 will be an out. Sky to center field. Caught by Kirby Puckett. Tigers don't score in the second. It's Twins two and the Tigers one. All right, let's go to the top of the third inning. Kirby Puckett leads off. No power in, he would later develop power in a swing, but not in 84, he has zero home runs, but was a 296 hitter. Uh, seven off Jack Morris's card, and 24 is going to be a swing and a miss, strike three. Pocket is U turned back to the dugout. Kent Herbeck. All right, here's Kent Herbeck. Grab it out to third, his first time up. Three off if it's zero. Nobody's on base. Let's see if we get the unusual chart. No, that would be a CD chart. Nobody on base. So three off Jack Morris's card, and 67 is going to be a. Ground out to the shortstop. No air on the play. Two outs. Tom Bernanski. Seven off the Morris card and 43 is a base on balls. Now if we hit a zero on the white dice, it, it will mean something. Here's Gary Gaiotti, because somebody's on base. Six off Morris's card, and 62 is in the out range. 
ground out to the first baseman, Marbero Garbet. There is no air on the play. Three unassisted. Three outs. Bottom of the third inning, Minnesota two and Detroit one. Hall of Famer Alan Trammell leads off for the Detroit Tigers. Homer his first time up. 21 off the Viola card is a base hit to right field. Alan Trammell is two for two. Here's Kurt Gibson. 1-1. One, one. Uh, let's check the variable chart. We got a left-hander against a left-hander, so that 1-1 one, is going to be a swing and a miss. Strike three. Lefty against lefty. Chet Lemon. Six sixty-one off the viola card. Ground ball to shortstop. No air. Six to four. Trammels out at second. Fielder's choice. Here's Larry Parrish. Not Larry. He plays for the Expos. Last Parrish. Sixty-seven. RP is. Pops up on the infield, and Ron Washington makes the catch. Three outs, we go to the top of the fourth, with the Twins still up by one. Ron Washington, who singled and scored in the second inning, leads off for the Twins in the top of the fourth. Ron Washington played himself in the movie Moneyball, and I like the way he played himself. He, he was a good actor. Here's the pitch to Washington, eight, uh, off at zero. Let's see if there's a... Yeah, there, that is a zero and a zero second row, so we're going to go to the Z chart. Roll is 87. And let's get a new random number to see who's injured on the play. That chart is the back page of the rules table. Here is the roll for the injury, 83. Pitcher is hurt as he comes off the mound to cover first on a ground ball. Batter is out. First the pitcher, but the pitcher is injured. The other runners advance. Length of injury. Four is starter 20 games, relief pitcher 10 games. So starter's out for 20 games. Bad news for the Tigers. Probably the most significant event right now in this tournament so far. Injury to Jack Morris. That's going to turn this game into a bullpen game for the Tigers. Doug Bear comes on. His relief rating of 6, 3.75 earned run average. He is a right-handed pitcher facing the right-handed Tim Tuchel. Off Bear's card, 51 is a wild pitch. Nobody's on base. Uh, a zero. We'll see if we get another Z chart. And yeah, we get another Z chart. 83. That's going to turn out to be uh, another injury. 34 is battered hit by pitch and is hurt. New player takes his place and goes to first. All right. On the injury, let's see how long the injury is. Seven. Use next random number, maximum 35. 33 games gone for Tim Tufel. All right, we rolled for the length of injury, and so that was 33 games. So Tufel's done for the tournament. Lenny Fiedel will play shortstop, come into the game and run. He is a C speed. He'll, he will play shortstop to E3. And Ron Washington will move from shortstop to play second base when they go back out into the field. One down, one on. Doug Bear, new Tiger pitcher, came in for the Morris injury. Pitching to Randy Bush. 
236 for bear 68 is going to be an out ambush is a LP G5 could be a, a double play no air on the play 5 4 3 it ends the top of the fourth 2 to 1 Minnesota Barbaro Garbet leads off for the Tigers one for one with a double in the game 8 is 88 he is a right normal facing a left handed pitcher that's good Base hit, one base advance. That's a single on the left right variable table. Garbet is two for two. D Steeler, uh, he's not going to be going. Rusty Kuntz for the Tigers. Thirty-two off Kuntz's card. That's going to be a long drive into the alley between center field and right field. Up to the wall, it's going to be a double for Rusty Kuntz. It's a two base advance, unless we want to try to score Garvey. Let's check for an error. No error. He's a D speed, so we're going to, no outs. We're going to hold a third. Second and third, here is Hojo Howard Johnson. We can put the Tigers ahead with a bingo here. Here's a pitch to Hojo. 11 is a reading off of his card. 28 is a drive by Howard Johnson. It could be, it is out of here, a three run home run for Howard Johnson. Tigers go up four to one. Let's check Viola's fatigue rating. This inning has added one, two, three, four, five, six to the eight he already has. Puts him up to 14, he's only got three left. Larry Herndon, base is clear. Three are in, courtesy of Howard Johnson's long drive. Seven off the Viola card. 27 is going to be a swing and a miss, strike three. One down. Top of the order for the Tigers and Lou Whitaker. 0 for 2. Seven off Viola's card, but that's a zero. Let's see if we're hopefully not another injury. Nine, that's back to the Z chart. Most of our games, we've had no Z-chart readings, but um, or readings, but we've had now a third one. 66 off the unusual events chart. Difficult fly ball into the gap. E1 or E0 in left field makes the catch for the out. Otherwise, a double and all runners score. Bases are clear. Left fielder is... Let's see, left fielder is Mickey Hatcher. He's a three. Going to be a double. Didn't have the range to get there. Another mark off Viola. He's down to two. Brings up Alan Trammell. 23 is a base at the right field. Two base advance. We'll drive in Trammell. Let's see if the right fielder makes the play. Bernanke retrieves it, gets it in. Single and RBI. Fourth run home in the inning. And that's it for Frank Viola. It just came crashing down on him here in the fourth inning. New pitcher for the Twins will be Ken Schramm. Relief rating of 8, 4.4 ERA, 2 through 6. And let's see. Woes continue for the Twins. Here is Kirk Gibson. Five off Strong's card and 75 will be an out. LP is fly ball deep to right field. OBR A, B, or C will tag up and go to second, but Alan Trammell, who's on base, is a D, so he holds it first. Two outs. Chet Lemon. And eight off Lemon's card, 47 is a base on balls. 
Tigers bat around in the fourth inning. Lance Parrish can blow this game open first and second. Four runs home already in the inning. Uh, 75 is going to be an out. RP is ground out to second base and no error. So that's it. That's the end of the inning. Four runs across on one, two, three, four, five hits. Big blow. Howard Johnson's three run home run. Tigers five, twins two. Randy Bush leads off for Minnesota in the top of the fifth inning. That's a zero roll. Let's see if we get another Z chart. Four is nobody on base. That'd be a BD chart. So we'll take the numbers here. So eight off of Randy Bush's card. 78 is an LP out. Round out to shortstop Alan Trammell. Nowhere. Should not be Randy Bush. Batter is Tim Loudner. Still an out. One down. Brings up Mickey Hatcher. Five off the pitcher card. 46 is a base on balls. Hatcher takes the free pass to first. Kirby Puckett. All right, uh, 33 off the Puckett card is going to be a base hit to right field. Nowhere on the play. Hatcher goes to third, off, hits off the batter card. First and third, only one out. Minnesota putting together a threat off Doug Bear. All right, half of Doug Bear's fatigue is used up. Here's Kent Herbeck. 82 off the Herbeck card. LP is a line out to the second baseman, Lou Whitaker. Two outs. Tom Bernanski. Eighty one is RP ground out to shortstop. No air on the play. Twins are retired. They don't score in the fifth. Detroit five, Minnesota two. Barbaro Garbe leads off for the Tigers. 525 off of the pitcher card. Base hit to right field. Lead off single by Garbe. He is three for three on the day. And the Tigers definitely brought their boomsticks today. That's the ninth hit. Rusty Koontz comes up the bat. Thirty-seven off the Coons car is a strikeout. One down. Howard Johnson is one for one with a three-run homer, the biggest blow in the game. So Hojo uh, this goes off of Ken Trom's card. Fifty-three is going to be an out. SP is ground out to third base. Could be a double play. Nowhere on the play. It's a five, four, three, twin killing. We go to the six, five to two, Detroit. Gary Gaetti. Let's see, we got right against a right handed hitter. 12 is going to be left right variable. That's a foul out to the catcher. One down, Ron Washington. Six off Doug Bear's card. 36 is a strikeout. Lenny Fajardo came into the game after the injury to Tim Tufel. Fives off Bears card, except that's a zero. Let's see if we get a another Z chart. We do not. Nobody's on base. So off Bears card, 34 is another strikeout. Bottom of the six. 
five to two Tigers. Larry Herndon leads off for the Tigers, having a frustrating day, two strikeouts. Here's the pitch to Herndon. Off the pitcher card, 20, 26 is a swing and a miss. Strike three, Herndon is handcuffed with three strikeouts today. Lou Whitaker, top of the order. One for three. Eight is off Whitaker card. 40, 54 is an out. Ground out to second base. And Ron Washington, who switched over from shortstop, no air on the play. Six to three, two outs. Alan Trammell is having a perfect day. Three for three. Two singles and a homer. 46 is going to be out for the first time. RP, ground out the shortstop. And E2 through 10. Uh, Fido is the shortstop. That's going to be an error on Fido. Air type is one. Muff, muff the ground ball. E6. Trammels at first. Two down. Kirk Gibson, he's looking for a hit. He did get a walk earlier. 8, 36 is a swing and a miss, strike three. We go to the seventh. Five to two Tigers. Minnesota down by three. We'll have Randy Bush, Tim Laudner, and Mickey Hatcher hitting in the seventh inning. Doug Barry's still out there. He has three marks against his fatigue. He's got two left. 8. Uh, goes off the batter card. 23 is going to be the drive by Randy Bush. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. And it's now 5-3 to three, Detroit. Randy Bush brings his team closer with a home run. Card here is Tim Laudner. 4 is off the pitcher card. And 34 is a strikeout. One away. Here's Mickey Hatcher. Six off Doug Bear's card. 36 is a strikeout. Two down. Kirby Puckett, one for three on the day. Five off Doug Bear's card is 13. Let's check the left right situation. Barris right-handed, Puckett's right-handed. So 13 is on the left-right variable chart, so that's going to be a base hit to left field for Kirby Puckett. Ken Herbeck. Long one here, could tie it up. All right, uh, Doug Barris' relief, uh, relief right is used up. And I don't know if the Tigers would do this, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in the league's most valuable player, Willie Hernandez, right here in this critical point in the game. The pitch to Kent Herbeck, left against left. Baron, Baron Gurr is another good reliever, but he's right-handed. It'll be up to Baron Gurr to close this game out if he gets the opportunity. Willie Hernandez pitching to Kent Herbeck. 10, he's a 2 for 9, just beyond his card, and... 77 is going to be an LP out. Ground ball back to Hernandez. Let's see if he makes the play. He's an E0. No error on the play. And Hernandez does his job, closes out the inning. Twin score once. It's 5-3. to three. Seventh inning stretch time here at Tiger Stadium. Ken Schaum returns to the mound for Minnesota. He is, still has four on his relief rating. You'll face Chet Lemon, Lance Parrish, and Barbell Garvey in the bottom of the seventh inning. Here's the pitch to Lemon. Six off of the pitcher card, and 33, I'll take that. It's a strikeout. One away. Here's Lance Parrish. 23. A drive by Parrish. It might be, it could be, 
it is out of here, and the Tigers make it 6-3. to three. They get that run back with a long one from their powerful catcher, Lance Parrish, Barbara Garbe. Nine eighty five are in. Pop out to the catcher. Two down. Rusty Kuntz. Seventy three are in. Pop out to the first baseman. And that closes the inning, but we go to the top of the eighth, six to three Tigers. These are all elimination games, so Willie Hernandez is going to return and pitch the eighth inning. And he is facing Tom Bernanski. Bruno is over for 1. He has walked twice. 8 off Willie Hernandez's card. 18 is going to be a swing and a miss, strike 3. He struck him out. That's a powerful card. 18 is usually a base hit. There's Gary Gaddy. 10 off Gaetti's card and 37. A swing and a miss. Four strike three. Ron Washington. So Hernandez has come on and induced a weak ground ball back to himself and struck out the first two in this inning. 61 is going to be an out. Well, Washington's an R in, ground out to shortstop. No air, check, no air on the air check. Six to three. This game has been fielded pretty clean. There has been one air, air on a twin shortstop. Bottom of the eighth, it's six to two, three, Detroit. Bobby Castillo will be brought in to pitch for the Minnesota Twins. He has a relief rating of four. He is the relief pitcher who was in the bullpen with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Started in 1977, but he's credited with helping Fernando Valenzuela with his screwball, and he, he himself also throws a screwball. Howard Johnson leads off for the Detroit Tigers. Three off Castillo's card, and 72 is going to be an out. Ground out to shortstop. E3 through 10, and um, Ron Washington moved from short to second. Fido's a three, so that's another error on Lenny Fido. His second in the game. Larry Herndon. Seventeen is a swing and a miss, strike three. Well, you know, it was 1.7 ERA in 1984, two through nine on his PB rating. Lou Whitaker. Seven is gonna go back in the box. I'm gonna count that roll. Eight is off Castillo, 78 is an out. L ends a line drive to the third baseman, Gary Guy Eddie. Two down. Here's Alan Trammell. A zero with the man on base. And eight is clutch defense. Clutch defense on the right fielder. Right fielder is Brunanski. His clutch defense is four. Here's a look at the clutch defense chart. And let's re-roll. All right, this is interesting. There, there have been some revisions in this game uh, over the years. And I think my board here is from the original one. And there's not a CD4. I have another CD chart in my notebook here, which might be more updated. Let's check that out. It still only goes through CD2, so we'll still use um, 
plus defense chart go to CD2, which is the worst one, I think. No. Uh, CD0 would be the worst one. So we, but we use two because he apparently is a good clutch defender. 77, though, it's going to be no action occurs. So we'll re roll, get a new PB number, and start over again on this at that. Off Trammell's card, 55 is going to be an out. RP is going out to shortstop with an air check. No air. We go to the ninth. Tigers up by three. Four tagger pitcher is going to be Juan Berenguer. He's going to chance to get a save here, 3.4. ERA, 2 through 7. Relief rating is 6. Let me find out we'll lead off for the Twins. He will be exceptionally motivated here. He has two errors in the game. This is a save opportunity, and Baron Gear didn't have any saves. Chance to get one here. Pitch to Fido. That's an 11. 77 is going to be an out. RN, ground ball to Howard Johnson at third base. No error. 5 to 3, one down. Here's Randy Bush. Five off the Baron Garrett card. 57 he is going to retire Bush on a ground ball hit to Al Trammell at shortstop. Throw across. Two outs. One to go, and the Tigers will move forward. Tim Loudner, the catcher. Maybe. Bill Brown will come in to pitch hit for the Twins. 273 here. He is the last hope. Eight is off his card, and 75 is going to be a, out if they make the play. Switch normal is ground ball to Lou Whitaker at second base. He scoops it up, throws the first, and that's the last out of the ball game. It was an E5 through 10, but Whitaker is a two. Final score. Detroit 6 and Minnesota 3 will be back with a wrap-up. All right, Game 10 in this tournament ends with a Detroit Tigers victim, or victory. Uh, Minnesota will be eliminated. The Twins scored three runs on six hits and two errors. Detroit had six runs on ten hits and no errors. There were home runs in the game by Randy Bush of the Twins. He hit two home runs and was responsible for all the Twins' runs. So uh, he drove in three, and there was two home runs for the Tigers. Alan Trammell in the first, but the big blow was Howard Johnson, three-run homer in the fourth inning. The winning pitcher was Doug Bear, who pitched three and two-thirds and gave up one run. The losing pitcher is Frank Viola. The big loss, though, for the Tigers was the loss of Jack Morris. He will be out for the rest of the tournament with injuries. And um, Lenny Fido uh, was injured also for the Twins, but the Twins are out, so that's not going to affect them. Tigers go to round three. They'll play the winner of the Oakland A's Baltimore Oriole game. Uh, Baltimore is the eighth seed. That's the next game that will go up on the channel. Hope you enjoy these games. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and may God bless.